So is there like any specific line I should, I no, should say? Or okay, um, Lori Spiquera, I'm, well, I'm okay with being filmed right now. Thank okay. you. All right, so, so remember, looking at I'll me, be talking to you, and yeah. you're going to reintroduce yourself at the university, the ITT, yeah. IIT. IIT, yeah. IIT, I always get that wrong. Uh, and then you can just launch it. Okay. Okay. And what about the integrator? Hi, um, I'm Loris Fichera. I'm a research fellow with the Italian Institute of Technology. And I'd like to talk about the work we are doing at IIT on the development of novel methods to, uh, for laser microsurgery. Laser microsurgery is a very uh, difficult spe medical specialty to learn today. Um, one, okay, sorry, I can redo this again? That's okay, okay it was a really good start. So. I'll go through it again. So, hi, I'm Loris Fichera. I'm a research fellow with the Italian Institute of Technology. And today I would like to talk with you about the work we are doing in the field of uh, robot assisted laser microsurgery. Uh, we focus on a specific set of interventions, which is laser surgery of the vocal folds. Uh, these type of interventions uh, present a very uh, difficult technical challenges for clinicians today because uh, they require a very high level of accuracy. Just to give you an idea of what the requirements are, uh, vocal folds in human adults are typically no more than 18 millimeters in length. So you need to be really careful when you do the operation not to impair any uh, healthy tissue which may be around, otherwise the patient may have this uh, speech impaired for life. Uh, this uh, specialty, as I mentioned, is very difficult to do today because it requires a very high precision and we have been working in our lab to create new tools that facilitate precise aiming and precise positioning of the laser. However, until now, very little has been done to uh, facilitate the, the control of the laser penetration depth into the tissue. But this requires the surgeon to understand how laser ablation works and then the capability to con of controlling the la different laser parameters and to match those laser parameters to the type of tissue he is operating. So it is not really an intuitive process. Our goal is to make this process really more intuitive and the way we do it is trying to reproduce the experience and the skills of experienced clinicians. So we did experiments, uh, and then from these experiments we collected data that, allows, that allowed us to m create a mapping between the decided level of incision depth and the laser parameters that are required for, for that. And the results are very uh, promising in that we achieved a very high level of accuracy, like 120 microns. This is, if you think about it, it's comparable to the size of a few epithelial cells and it is certainly much more precise that we can what we can control with manual uh, control alone. That was really great. You did a nice job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much.